All right, guys, we got this. Let's go gun white trips. Eat. Pro sex, go. On one, on one. Ready? Ready. Ready. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Bugs. We're back with another Ask Bugs edition here on the Huddle GG channel. And shout out to my guy, Potato Head27980, for providing us with today's video. He asked about plays out of the Raiders book, and I went and found a very unique dot in the Oakland, I mean, sorry, Las Vegas Raiders. They've been the Raiders, Oakland Raiders all my life, but the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Um, this play is very unique to this playbook. It's only in this playbook. And before we get into any of that, go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash Bugatti Bugs. I'm probably live right now. Come check me out once you get done with this video. Hit the follow, hit that bell. That way you're noty gang and you can know when I go live and you can come through and kick it with me and get more information like this live and in person or Virtually, you know what I mean. Anyway, so now let's get into the nuts and bolts of this video. I want to get to the tight doubles formation. It's been called tight doubles on for most of my Madden career, but now they just call it tight doubles. Uh, if you've been playing Madden a long time, you know what I'm talking about. But it's to play zig under. This play is only in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. So you're only going to get this in the Raiders playbook. And it's so unique, and you can use it in multiple ways. You really can use this play and you can probably have maybe even maybe five to eight setups out of this one play right here because it's so unique. You have those two unique zig routes that come inside of the field instead of whipping outside like the normal hot routed whip routes. Um, it's a very unique play because it's a stock play that you can use without even having like hot route master or anything like that. You don't even need hot route master for this play. You can just use this play just how it is. Um, and make little small adjustments with the route combinations and really make this play very effective. It's going to be man and zone, which makes it a very, very good play. And so if you've ever consumed any of my ebooks or my guides or anything like that, you know I like to use boxing references. And this is one of those plays that I like to call a jab type play. It's one of those plays that you can use to kind of jab your opponent and kind of set them up for your other plays. So let's get into this play. Zig under, I'm just going to pick man first, and then we're going to audible to cover two and cover three to show you the looks and the reads against those as well. All right, so we're going to start off in two man under. Uh, you want to have a unique short route running guy running that whip route or that zig on the B receiver. Um, you want to have a good route running guy on that Y receiver as well. It's not as important on the X guy because we're going to motion him a lot. And then the tight end, you know, you just want to have a good tight end. Um, if you don't have, if you're playing regs, you can do this with any team. It does not matter to the team. Um, just put some speed and high route running for those spots. Short route running for the B receiver. Medium. I think this is medium. It's probably deep the further he goes downfield, but the first initial break should be medium route running for this post route on Y. Um, and then it, you can really use it, like I said, with any team. But if you have a hot route master or receivers with abilities, then you can get more creative with the play and really kind of use this play almost every play. Um, that's how good it is. Uh, so what we're going to do is streak the tight end. We're going to block the running back. Or you can put the running back, you can lead a running back on that swing route. Or if you have a hot route master or a backfield master, you can put them on a flat route like so. Um, you can put them on, uh, yeah, I will put them on a flat route, leave them on that flat route. Then we're going to put the X receiver on a slant and we're going to motion him over to the B receiver side. Um, and when we motion him over to that side, what's going to happen is he's going to have a step because his defender that's supposed to guard him is that cornerback that you see over the B receiver. But you're going to see him move outside an alignment because and we're going to snap him right before he gets past the B receiver. We're going to snap him right in between the A and the B receiver. So we're going to motion him over like so. You see he steps outside. And our slant already has a step on that guy so he can't press him we don't want to allow him to press him and we already have a hard head start on him anyway from the start of the play so that's the beauty of it so you're going to do a really good job of just torching man and really give man coverage a problem um with the slant and then you also have that motion that zig see how that zig just torches his guy right there he torches his guy mike evans just torched him 
And then we got our post over the middle of the field that we can also throw. And so you got three guys wide open that you can throw it to. And it's going to force the user's hand. And he really, the spacing between the three routes, you see how these three routes are spaced. Our three man beating routes, our slant, our whip or zig route, and our post are so well spaced out that you cannot, it's going to be hard to really get alert. The only way you can get alert is if you just make a really bad read with your own progressions and stuff like that. So that would be your fault and not the defender just lurking every single route. All right, so that's how it looks against man coverage. It's gonna do a really good job. Also, if you have a hot route master or a receiver ability, you can also put that wide receiver on a post route or a, or a crossing route, either one. Or you, if you're playing regs and you don't have an ability, that's fine as well. You can just go with the stock play. It's still going to be just as effective as uh, having a hot route master or a slot apprentice or whatever apprentice you may have on the field. All right, let's go to cover three and cover two. It's going to be basically the same exact setup. We can do the same exact thing. We're going to motion that slant over, give the same exact look. and We're going to give the defense a struggle with what is coming. And so, as you can see, we still got that slant right in the middle of the field that we can low ball it right there in between the zones. And you're going to see that what happens is the post route pushes the flat zone because there's no flat responsibility over here. The curl flat, the purple zone, if it was cloud flat, he still would back up and unless they shade it underneath. And then also the hook curl is going to back up as well because they have no short responsibility, which creates an opening for this guy right here to just come right up the, the middle and just be able to just low ball him, low ball pass lead him, and just dot it right in the middle of the field. And then you also have our whip route coming back across the middle of the field as well. Another thing you have to account for is that one of these guys are most likely going to be the user. That's another thing that you have to account for. So there's going to be a vacant area here in this middle of the field. So as they leave the slant, the whip or zig is going to come right back in the middle of the field. And then we have our post right here. That's going to just come right here across the middle of the field and you can throw it early or you can throw it late across the sideline outside the numbers whenever necessary. And it's pretty much going to be the same against cover two and cover four and any other coverage, zone coverage, look, the only way they're going to really be able to stop it, they're going to have to work really hard. They're going to have to have the perfect zone drops and really to be able to stop you in this offense because it's just so tough to, and so hard to deal with. All right, so we're going to audible to cover two. This is cover two sync here. Same thing, we're going to motion this X receiver over on a slant like so. We're going to snap it, same as X spot. You see you have him there. And we are going to throw it to the post this play. We could have thrown it to the post every play. It's really just about once the user decides which one he's going to guard, that's when we decide which receiver we are going to throw it to. That's our decision maker right there. We don't predetermine the decisions. We just allow the defender and the user to show us who we're going to throw it to because everybody is working together to get open. You can see we have the slant. We have the post, we have the whip route, um, and you can see how I just able, I'm able to just pass lead down, bullet pass lead down that that skinny post, or sorry, not that skinny post, but that short post, right down because he has a step on his defender. Our slant has a step on his guy. Our zig just is torching his guy in the middle of the field. Um, there is a spy in the middle of the field because I blocked the running back. But nonetheless, all three of those guys are going to get open consistently. And this play right here, Zig Under, is going to absolutely give your opponents fits. So take this play, go into the Las Vegas playbook, and use this to really expand on your offense. Or just mix it in. Start mixing it in with all the other formations you may be running. You can now sprinkle this Zig Under play in as well to really kind of keep your opponents off balance and give them fits defensively.